Hey everybody, uh, Daniel here. How's the YouTube world? Um, for today, first day of chemo. So it's 8.30 in the morning, we need to be there at 9, so we're about to head out. Um, I'm going to try and get, you know, some of the Operation Film, obviously. It takes like three hours, so... You know, we're going to avoid trying to bore you guys too much, but, you know, we'll get you the gist of what will be happening. Um, juice yesterday, um, had a couple eggs to refill my protein supply as I was down about 20 grams of protein. I feel good. Um, of course, I'm probably a little anxious today, so I can't verify for sure how I'm feeling. I'm sure later in the day I'll, I'll be able to get a better testament to how I'm feeling. Uh, my father's been very supportive. He's going to start doing the major juicing with me. We just had our breakfast. It was absolutely delicious. Um, and I'll come back, and next time you see me, we'll be at the hospital. All right. Hi, everybody. Here you are. Uh, first chemo session. Uh, this is, do you want to say the name of this drug? Adrian Myosin. Adrian Myosin. This is the stuff that also supposedly makes me lose my hair. But everything just makes me feel like crap from what I find out. Anyway, I'll come back after everything's done and give you any other information I have to give. Alright, who wants to see what drugs I'm taking? First one is this guy. Um, and that is Biomycin. Biomycin, main side effects, loss of appetite, hair loss, and some people get sores in the mouth. And then we have the guy behind it, um, which is, I'm going to say this wrong, but it's Decarbazine. <laughs> and um, side effects, same as everything else, really. Vomiting, nausea, loss of appetite. Uh, and it also jacks up my immune system. So, this will be fun. All right, bye. Hey Internet World, YouTube World, uh, it's me, Daniel, um, I just, uh, we are, uh, I started my first chemo session at 9am today, we finished up around 12.30 and it's 2.30 right now, um, and then I of course got my prescriptions for my, uh, <clears throat> my uh, uh, nausea medication. Um, the medication they put in just before the chemo is a bunch of nausea medication. It's supposed to last for about 24 to 48 hours. So I shouldn't have to worry about nause being nauseated until then. Um, they warned me that most of the side effects from chemo won't actually hit me until a day or two after chemo. So um, right now, I mean, I don't feel good. I have a little bit of a headache. Um, and I'm tired. I'm definitely tired. And... Um, I'm, I'm hungry. Uh, it's day two of juicing, you know. Here's here's my lunch. Um, carrots, apples, grapes, spinach, and kale. That's what that is. Um, uh, as you saw just a minute ago, uh, you saw what I went through today, um, and that was fun. It was very difficult. You know, I want to emphasize how fun. How hard it was, you know, and my mother, she's being sweet, but she didn't realize, you know, she goes and grabs a donut, brings it back and is eating it, and uh, that was, that was a little difficult. Um, uh, donuts and junk food all over that place. Um, so for anyone going through chemo, um, I'm sorry. If you want to stay healthy, eat healthy, and you're trying to just really do, especially me doing the raw diet, vegan thing, uh, the juicing thing. It's not going to be easy. I mean, they had one type of juice that I had that said it had no preserves, uh, preservatives, um, no artificial anything. So I don't know how much I trust that. And it was still just fruit and it's still a lot of sugar. So it wasn't the best thing. So I tried to make my lunch with more veggies. Uh, recommendation. If you were going to juice, which I recommend. I mean, um, I'm down a pound and a half from yesterday. Which is cool, you know, and that's what we were expecting, about a pound and a half to a pound a day. And, um, but prepare your juice uh, before, you know, eat your breakfast, which I did, and then prepare a container of juice and put it in a cooler 
and bring that to your chemo session. That will help you a lot because when you're sitting there, you want to eat something, you want to do, you want to drink something, you're hungry, and it's it's a tiring experience just sitting there for two to three hours. Um, another side effect I'm having is I've had to go, I've pissed seven times today, and it's only about 3 p.m. My last time was about an hour ago. I am almost 100% sure I'm going to need to pee here again another like 20 minutes. So seven times, and they're all pretty significant pees. Uh, they're red already from the chemo. So my first, I got the, the red stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm peeing red, which is a little weird. Um, but yeah, I'm also gone seven times. Um, that could be a mixture between the chemo because it does dehydrate you. So, you know, when, when anything dehydrates you, it just, it removes the, the liquids from your body and drains it, right? So chemotherapy in itself probably causes you to feel, and I have a juicing diet. So, you know, I'm not having any solids. So, you, you know, I figure if I'm having all these nutritious drinks, they might go through me pretty quick as well. Although I feel like I've peed way more than has actually gone into my body today. So, that's awesome. Um, uh, I don't I don't think I have anything else for you guys. I mean, you saw the videos. Um, I'll do another video probably in a couple days. I'm going to go on a walk. Uh, we're going to do two miles today. I'm just going to go out there. I got um, jogging pants on. Um, and so I'm just going to do, I'm going to jog it. If I feel good, I'm going to keep jogging. And that's kind of what I recommend with people. You know, don't feel bad if you have to walk a little bit. I have a headache though, so I, we'll see how I feel. I sit out there, start jogging, um, but I'm going to try and do at least half of it jogging. Um, and then if not, half of speed walking um, to uh, get that exercise in for today. Wish me luck. Um, yeah. This is um, already so much fun, and I'm not even getting the blood of it right now. From what I understand, that this is nothing compared to what it'll be in a couple of days. And uh, oh, everyone, check out the beanie! Uh, they, you know, they give them out over at the hospital for cancer patients. So I still have my hair. Don't let it confuse you. It'll be a couple of weeks before I lose that. So I don't know. I might just shave it off here soon, as in like a week or two. But they say it takes about 14 days before it starts just coming out like crazy. And once it starts coming out, it comes out quick. So, we'll see how that goes, and I'll, you know, give you more of a perspective on that. Uh, talk to you later, and enjoy my chemo session. All right.